Hello everyone, and in this video we want to solve this equation and find a. Uh, the equation is a to the power 9 plus a to the power 6 equals to 36. Uh, we can bring 36 to the left side and it's going to equal 0. And I wrote 36 uh, by summation of two numbers, 27 and 9. So we have a to the power 9 plus a to the power 6 minus 27 minus 9. Now we can bring 27 close to a to the power 9 and minus 9 close to a to the power 6. And now we can combine them with each other. As you can see, 27 is 3 to the power 3 and 9 is 3 to the power 2. This is going to be beneficial for us. Now for uh, simplify this equation that we have, we can use this formula. These two formulas that are so famous, a to the power 3 minus b to the power 3. We can uh, write, write it as 2 multiplication. And again, a to the power 2 minus b to the power 2. Uh, we can write it as 2 multiplication again. As we see, a to the power 9 is a to the power 3 to the power 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. And a to the power 6 is a to the power 3 to the power 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. Okay, so now uh, we make each of these parentheses same as these formulas. So now we can uh, write them as two multiplication. As we can see, 3 to the power 3 is our b3, so b is 3. And here, uh, 3 to the power 2 is our b2, which is uh, b is equal to 3. So same as here. Now we can write the, this equation as the summation of these two uh, multiplication that we found and now if we I mean see it closely we can see both of them has a to the power 3 minus 3 so we can factor this part out so we factorize a to the power 3 minus 3 from both sides and it's gonna be a to the power 3 minus 3 times the summation of these two parentheses that we had before so it's going to be a to the power 6. We have 2 a to the power 3, which is going to be 4 a to the power 3. And we have 9 plus 3, which is going to be 12. So now this is what we found from the last slide. a to the power 3 minus 3. And this is the summation of the other two parentheses. Uh, now we want to make this equation equals to zero, so we have multiplication. Each of parentheses can be zero. So uh, one of them is the first one, and the other one is the second one. And let's see what are our roots here. For making the first parentheses equals to zero, A is going to be cube root of three. For solving the second parentheses, we need another changing variable. For example, we assume a to the power 3 equals to x. So a to the power 6 is going to be x to the power 2. So this is simple quadratic equation and we can find the root uh, by traditional way. So we will find delta here. As we want to calculate delta, we see the delta is going to be lower than zero. So uh, we don't have real roots for this part. So the only root that we had for this equation was cube root of three. So now we want to check if our answer is correct or not. So we substitute a by cube root of three. So now we will have this one cube root of 3 to the power 9, cube root of 3 to the power 6 minus 36 equals to 0. Now, uh, cube root of 3 to the power 9 is going to be 9 divided by 3, which is going to be 3. And for this one, is 
6 divided by 3 is going to be 2 and minus 36 equals to 0, which is correct. This is 27 and this is 9. Minus 36 equals to 0. Thank you for watching us. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like our video if you like it. See you soon.